Hi. So for this lesson, we're going to be mostly just talking about reviews and how it is important to go back and reread the material, reread what your goals were in order to verify whether you've met that goal or if you need to work a little bit harder to meet it. So something to remember is that no relationship will ever be conflict conflict free. There always be issues to deal with. Conflict can be good for a relationship and it allows the relationship to grow. You can always change the course of the relationship, especially if you find yourself facing the four deadly horsemen, which are criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. They can be fixed, reversed, or erased from the marriage if both partners try. Conflict resolution styles are the pattern responses or sets of behaviors people will utilize while, conflict, while confronting conflicts. There can be good fighting. There can be good patterns of fighting. Not every pattern is bad for a marriage. The good fighting can help you maintain perspective, develop tension outlets, avoid festering resentments, can make you more sensitive to timing, can communicate with ceasing, without ceasing, so you don't use the silent treatment, which is a little hard to do sometimes. You can be more flexible, more willing to compromise. You can use the conflict to attack the problem in order to find a solution and not attack your spouse. And it will keep you loving while you're fighting because sometimes it is hard to maintain that I really love this person. I really love this person while you're argue, arguing about finances or what Christmas card to send next out to the family. So communication, while is kind of corny, it is key to a happy marriage. So there are signs that can show if your communication is crumbling down. The, the signs are escalation, invalidation, negative interpretation, and withdrawal and avoidance. Each person will communicate just a touch differently, even if they grew up in the same household, because each person is different, and we each feel different emotions, and how we express those emotions may not always be the best fit for how our spouse views things. And we have to keep that in mind. And we can come to a compromise with our spouse. 